All right, guys, I'm actually really excited about this review today. I'm testing out these Betanardi golf irons. Now, Betanardi, as a brand, have really been known for making high-end, incredible putters. They've dabbled in wedges before, yes, but they have now brought out two sets of irons. I've got my hands on one of the sets today, and in this review, we're going to test them, and surely, we know Betanardi are good. Are they going to make good irons? So look at these, in the bag. On first looks, really, really nice. Like Betanardi are known for this almost honeycomb texture. I remember years ago, in fact, a fun story. When I was doing my work experience, when I was probably about 12, 13 years old, I did work experience at the Marriott Worsley Park, believe it or not. And I worked in the pro shop there, and I remember some putters coming in and it was a collaboration line with Mizuno and it was actually Betanardi and Mizuno putters. And I remember seeing them going, oh my God, they look incredible. I mean, at the time, way out my price point, but that kind of honeycombing effect always really stood out to me. That continues in this iron set, certainly across the detail along the back. As I mentioned, to be honest, I actually didn't realize this until figuring out before. Robert Betanardi, who obviously set up Betanardi, started in 1998. So that was a, it was about that same time frame when I was doing my work experience. Before setting up Bernardi, he actually worked for other brands, many other brands, and his creations won, get this, 49 tournaments around the world, players using his product from other brands, and four major tournaments. That's a pretty good resume. So no wonder he set up on his, on his own. After so many years, He's now dabbling, or well, I say him, his son Sam now really runs the business, but dabbling in the iron market. Right, without further ado, let's grab this seven iron. I mean, it's gorgeous, it really is. It's got, it's got quite a lot of tailor-made vibes, to be honest with you. It kind of has some look of, of a tailor-made iron, almost like the P7MC iron, that kind of structure. Now these are the CB24 irons, so the cavity back irons. There are also an MB24 irons, which is the blade, the muscle back. Now price-wise, as I mentioned earlier, Bernardi putters aren't cheap, never been cheap. It's all, this is almost, as a comparison, this is almost like Scotty Cameron, the famous putter brand, bringing out a set of irons. That's almost what this is like. This is like a, an exclusive, top of the end putter brand bringing out some irons. Well, the price for these set of irons is $1,600. Not available currently in the UK. $1,600, which is pretty pricey. It's pretty punchy, that. Um, I'm intrigued. I can't wait to hit them. I can't wait to test them, see how they feel. I've got seven iron in hand here. It's 33 degrees of loft. It's a good looking iron. It is. It, it feels great. Great weight distribution on the iron. It's quite boxy in shape. Like that front edge is really, really, really sharp. And there's actually quite a lot of offset on that iron. It's a good looking iron, it is. I wouldn't say it's my favorite looking iron ever, um, but it, it's very kind of clean, I would say, quite clinical. Grip is really nice. That's a Golf Pride Betanardi grip. I've just got these in Dynamic Gold X100s. Right, let's hit some seven irons. I'm about 170 yards away from that flag, which should be perfect for this club. Oh, it's a little bit loose to the right. Felt good though off the face. Oh, I've missed the green annoyingly. That actually felt really good off the face. Not, not really soft. Maybe I was expecting quite a soft feel off this iron for some reason. I mean, it is a one piece co-forged solid body. Um, so there's, that, there's technology in this as well, classic shape. And also there's a progressive CG positioning. So the long irons, it's helped to launch up in the air. For the shorter irons, it's to help increase and control that spin as well. Okay, let's hit a few more. That was only a first shot. Blame that on, on me. That was nice. That was a little bit off the bottom, actually. Truth be told, it's gone a long way. It's gone a long way for a slightly, slightly clean strike. That one felt better than the first it did. 
Um, they are, this iron set, I mean, I don't know what it is. I think it looks obviously from here and the feel do feel very tailor-made-esque. That's not a bad thing, don't get me wrong. It's just kind of a bit of a comparison. The one thing that I would like to have seen, I actually think there is a bit of offset, but also because the hosel is very thick, looks wider than a lot of other hosels, it makes it look like it's more offset. I would have liked that to have been slimmed down a little bit. I think it would make for a much better looking iron if that hosel was just a little bit slimmer. That was nice. That was absolutely in the middle of the club face. Yeah, to be honest, my, my, my opinions are already shifting quickly. My first strike didn't feel the greatest. My second one definitely felt a bit better. That one felt a little bit better. Again, maybe I've just hit the middle of the face a bit more. What's interesting with this brand, Betanardi, is this iron, at certainly this price point, is really competing with your tight list, your top end tight list, tailor-made, ping, Callaway, etc. At the end of this video, I'm going to tell you my opinion whether it should hang with those big names. Does it have the credentials? Is it a good enough club to be putting straight in and comparing with those really established iron brands, really, let's be honest? I, feel like, I genuinely feel like every shot has just felt that little bit better. They're not short hitting. They're not, honestly, that's a seven iron. Carrying 175 yards, granted it's not super strong lofted, it's only 33 degrees, which is fairly standard, let's be honest, these days. Um, I'm going to go one more. Each time I've enjoyed hitting this, it feels good. I really like that grip. It's only a tall velvet, but it feels like it's really premium. I quite like the Betanardi that's stuck straight down the front there. Again, I still think there could be improvements on the looks behind the ball. That's a bad shot. I don't know if it's just, I'm not blaming the club for that errant shot, definitely not. I just don't know, I feel like that offset is, is forcing me to think these are gonna go a little bit more left. Like it feels like, oh, this is gonna go left. And I, I, I almost feel like I'm trying to fight it. If that, honestly, if that hosel was just that little bit slimmer, in my opinion, or a little bit longer, it would just make for such a better looking iron. That's nice. Like that's that's the shot I feel like it's gonna do. Just that little tiny draw. Left side of the green, good distance. Yeah, I like that. Let's um let's have a quick look at the numbers up on screen and then we'll hit some wedges as well. As you can see there, seven irons carrying 169 yards, pretty bang on. Spin rate 6,100, a touch low, but overall, I mean they're pretty good numbers for a seven iron. Okay, moving into the pitching wedge next. What I want to see with the pitching wedge and then I'm going to flip it to the longest iron is this progressive CG positioning supposed to help increase the spin and control the spin with the pitching wedge well let's hit a few shots and see if that's the case and then also supposed to help with the four iron being nice and easy to high launch so we'll test that theory as well um not gotta be on it not my favorite looking pitching wedge this I kind of maybe expected it not to be it's a little bit too sharp on that leading edge. As I've mentioned a few times, that hosel just seems like it sticks out like a sore thumb. It's like it's blown up and, and it just isn't as pretty to look at. Everything else is nice. I like the top line. I don't mind the, the, the kind of boxiness on the top edge. The front line, I'd like to be a little bit more rounded. It's, it's very clinical and very sharp, almost like the front edge of a putter face. <laughs> it's quite... Ironic to say that, considering it's Betanardi, a brand that's known for making putters. Right, let's hit a couple of wedge shots. Felt good again, though. Well, that's a, that, why has that gone so long? It's 45 degrees of loft, so it shouldn't have gone that long. I think I've just pulled that a little bit long. I'll take credit for that one. That was nice. Really nice. But they do feel good. There's no question about that. They feel, I don't know, just that's that first shot. Maybe I just didn't quite analyze it well enough, but since since that first shot, every iron shot that I have hit with these clubs have felt really good off the face. So I hit a few more pitching wedges and actually was very impressed with the performance. Average carry distance, 132 yards. Spin rate for the pitching wedge wasn't 
incredible. It wasn't like it spun outrageous, but 8,000, just under 8,000 RPMs, really solid for a pitching wedge. Again, I found that it was going a bit far, but I was slightly pulling it as well. The four iron, the first two shots that I hit with a four iron were absolutely incredible. I mean, unbelievable golf shots. But after hitting a batch of shots, averaging 207 yards, again, solid for a four iron, and actually good spin numbers, 4,300 is very good. And I actually did find it easy oh, to hit, certainly easy to launch up in the air as well. For me, I think it's gonna be a hard task for a, a brand like Bettinardi, who have, again, been known for their putters, should we say, bring out a couple of sets of irons and instantly are gonna sit up against a tight list ping, Callaway, tailor-made, etc. But I actually think they've made a very, very, very solid iron. There's room for improvement, there is. But for a first version, very impressed with the Bettinardi irons. Guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to HIT. We'll see you next time.